I just got locked in the shower stall, just yelling for you because I didn't know if you were actually here or not. I just couldn't hear me. <laughs> so I was just, just sitting in there. Mom! Gal in this teeny bikini on the back, and she goes, Oh, you got two perros? And I was like, Yeah, two perros. And she's like, Oh, call me. And she started like doing this like little <laughs> dance. It's looking up, I'm pumped. Everything hinges on what these vets say, so fingers crossed. Why not? The light at the end of the tunnel is here. I'm excited to get cruising for, you know, it's just a couple weeks and the water's getting warm and clear, yeah, so it's like... Yeah, buddy. We are Mike and Taylor. And these are our dogs, Penny and Lucy. We sold our home and nearly everything we owned, moved aboard a 40-foot boat, and sailed from Seattle. This is the story of us making our way. So while we've been in San Carlos, Taylor's been working her butt off on editing and her other business. And my job has largely been to get these videos up on the internet. It's tough, it's tough, you know, I, I work really hard. I drink, you know, maybe a beer, maybe two beers, eat a couple tacos, kind of sit here for a couple hours. Sometimes people talk to me and I don't always like that. It's tough, but I muscle through. Call me Bucky Nook, lucky that I'm innocent. Uh, if I didn't have no morals, I'd be menacing. Uh, how about this rapping conscious, but he ignorant? Uh, how he found the hood, but still gonna go legitimate? Uh, so we came back out to this gorgeous martini coast to just do some snorkeling for fun because it has still been a hell of a month and Penny had her sixth vet visit today. <laughs> Might have been seven. Blowing off some steam, we're going for a snorkel. It's a hot one today. from the boat before but never in the water. Not like it. I thought it was cool. Those things are creepy though. Yeah dude.
I also wanted to just say a huge, huge thank you to those of you who not only watch our videos, but actually take the time out of your day to leave really kind, supportive, nice comments. Like whether it's just a video you enjoyed or something about it that you like, it, it really, uh, it's special to hear from you guys. When you are really enjoying something or you know, it inspired you or whatever. So just wanted to say thank you to all of you guys who have done that, have left us really, really nice comments and are enjoying the videos. You guys make it, make us feel like we want to keep making them. So that's, that's always nice. So much shit. We saw a big sea turtle right here when we were getting into the dinghy, which I think was Gladys coming over to say hello because she's just a friendly little turtle like that. We saw two, we saw two heels. We saw a bunch of stingrays. We saw jumping monster rays out in the ocean. What else did we see? Tons of fish. That was the most, like the best north that we've had since we were down in. Or yeah, and we were just out for like maybe an hour, just right over there. I'm we saw all of them. Like well, hello from San Carlos. We have been here. And when I say here, I mean truly anchored in the same spot without moving our boat, although we did go into the marina like for a week and we've gone out and do a couple day sails, but really for the most part, we have been here in the same spot for seven weeks now. <laughs> it's been kind of a strange stretch of time for reasons I've shared here and talked about. So it's been a little bit bizarre. I've been quite busy at my desk and computer. Uh, Penny has been dealing with some health issues and you know, there's some other behind the scenes stuff as well that we've been working on as it pertains to like our future plans and the sustainability of this whole thing that we've started. And, and then most pressingly, like where we're going and what we're doing for hurricane season, cause it's been hurricane season. And we, <laughs> it's just been like, it's been strange. It's been a lot, but. Today, there is some good news. And that is first and foremost, that Penny seems to have turned a corner. All things are looking well, she's back to herself. Lucy's back to herself too. So that's really good. So we've got like a virtual appointment tonight with our old Seattle vet. We've got a final follow-up appointment tomorrow morning with her local San Carlos vet. And if everybody gives us the thumbs up on that, we are gonna take up anchor and we're gonna pull out. And we have, I think two weeks to enjoy and cruise and explore before we need to be back to this very spot for a haul out. We are gonna be going back to the States for a month or two in the peak of hurricane season here for a variety of reasons. So it's been just a kind of a strange kind of like waiting, kind of spinning our wheels, kind of hanging out in one spot, but I'm super excited that not only is Penny feeling better, but that we can actually have a couple weeks here before we end up putting the boat away for a couple months. So it's looking up, I'm pumped. Yeah, to be continued, I don't know. Hopefully everything hinges on what these vets say. So fingers crossed that everything comes back good and we can head out back into the wild where we belong. Mm -hmm. boat project for the day is going to be checking the tension on our standing rigging and the tune on our standing rigging. Um, I've been trying to find, get my hands on a tension gauge uh, pretty much since we did the rigging. I borrowed one uh, when we did the rigging from uh, Hal the rigger who helped me out. And after sailing for a little bit, you know, the wire stretches a little bit and the deck kind of um, flexes a little bit. So you want to recheck your rigging but I don't have one of these, didn't really feel like buying one. I was just hoping to, to borrow one along the way and I finally got my hands on one. So 
And I don't think I filmed any of the rig tune when we did that right after we installed the new rigging. So uh, I'll kind of go through a little bit of that. Everything looks pretty good, so I'm not gonna be doing like a full tune or anything like that, um, but just kind of checking to make sure that our tension is good and making some adjustments as needed. So when we uh, first tuned the mast, <clears throat> after we did the new standing rigging, we set the rake and the pre-bend. Our mast is supposed to have like one degree rake with a little bit of pre-bend. Uh, that I think is still good. It's actually too windy f today for me to really check that properly. Um, but just kind of sighting up the mast, you're, you're kind of eyeballing a lot of it, to be honest. I think that's okay. So really all I'm doing is, is checking the tension. Um, but we'll do a quick sight up the mast here. It's really hard to see because there's not a lot of bend in this mast. Ends up being that like the top of the mast is I think six inches behind where it passes through the deck. Kind of eyeballing it, I think we're, we're good. The mast is almost perfectly straight, just a little bit of pre-bend, meaning that the mast kind of bends back a little bit. So it bows forward, I guess. So anyway, place to start is on the cap shrouds. So those are the, the wires that run from the deck all the way up through both shrouds to the masthead. Those are supposed to be tensioned to, this is on our mast, this is specs from Selden. So they're supposed to be tightened to 15% of that wire's breaking strength. So we're just gonna check that using our nifty tension gauge. So we're gonna rig this up and I'll try to show you sort of what we're looking for here to get to that 15%. All right, hopefully you can hear me. So safety line so you don't lose this thing overboard. Get the wire running through these two little rollers. onto the wire, let this kind of settle in, and then you're reading your gauge here. So this reads about 43. This is 3 eighths wire, so 43, that's 14%. That's pretty darn close. Maybe we can bring it up 1%. So let's go check the port side. All right, we're at 43 here as well, and again 43, that's... 14%. Maybe I should try to do like a half turn on both turnbuckles um, and that'll get it up to like 44 hopefully right about that 15% mark. Uh, but I think I'm gonna run around the boat and kind of uh, check everything. All right, so I took a full turn on that other one. Now we're just gonna go sight the mast again since we added that backstay tension. I just wanna see if that changed the rake on the mast substantially or not. All right, so now we've added some tension to the backstays. So I'm gonna go pull the pins out and tighten up both sides evenly, try to get them both to that 15%. Oh, turtle! Gladys! What's up, Gladys? made a mistake. What I forgot to remember is that when you adjust one cap shroud, it kind of equally affects both. So I tightened up our starboard cap shroud that brought the tension on that shroud to 15%. I forgot that that's also going to bring the cap shroud on the port side also to 15%, but I haven't tightened them evenly. So I went over to the port side, I tightened it that one and a half turns, and so now we're too high. Now we're at about 18% of braking strength. Not really a problem, but tighter than I think we need to go. So I gotta undo my mess up. So I'm gonna back them both out and start over. I'll do, this is what I should have done in the first place. I'm gonna do a half turn on one side, a half turn on the other side, and then look at the rig tension. And if I need to go more, I'll just keep adding a half turn. Okay, I'm done because I just got locked in the shower stall while Mike was on land with the dogs and the latch, every once in a while, gets very sticky 
and it happened while you were on land, and so I had to sit down and just wait. How long were you in there? Like 10 minutes I was waiting for you, and the fans are all on, there's so much noise, I couldn't hear, like if you were, and I was just yelling for you, because I didn't know if you were actually here or not, and just couldn't hear me. <laughs> so I was just just sitting like, in there? Ah! <laughs> I had a much better time on our way in. So everyone swoons over Penny and Lucy, because they're beautiful. On the way, dinging the dogs in just to go for a little nighttime walk, I was following like a party boat in and there's this like gal in this teeny bikini on the back and she goes, oh, she's Mexican. She's like, oh, two perros? And I was like, yeah, two perros. And she's like, oh, call me. And she started like doing this like little <laughs> dance. So that's my way in. But on the way, like walking back to the boat, I sort of just, Lucy went up to like, just went up to this lady. And I kind of recognized her. They came in on like a 80 foot fishing boat, like a really fancy fishing boat the other day. So I was talking to her for like a little bit with her, she's with her daughter, and they were wearing like kind of uniform things. I was like, was there a fishing competition or something today? She said, yeah, there was like a women's fishing competition. So cool, we kind of went our separate ways, but then as I was dinging back out, she kind of, we passed her boat and she waved me over and was like, you want any fish? And handed me some freshly caught Dorado from today. So it pays to have pretty dogs. Mike's on shore, hamming it up with all the local ladies while I'm yeah. just stuck in the shower here. <laughs> if I had known you were stuck, I wouldn't have come back. <laughs> <sighs> what a day! All right, let's have some mahi-mahi because that looks amazing. Okay, these are the tacos I just whipped up, made from the Dorado that Mike scored from his new girlfriend's. <laughs> and I'm very excited about this, actually. Got it. Mahi, it's got a little bit of that Caribbean spice blend on it. Then a slaw with sort of a crema dressing pickled onions that you made. There's some salsa and some agudad. Well, you guys, the light at the end of the tunnel is here, or we're at the end of the tunnel. I don't really know how that expression translates. Anyway, good news. Penny has been given two thumbs up from two different vets. We're still on the mend. We're not totally out of the woods. There's still some inflammation and some stuff that we've got to watch for. But the wound itself, the gland itself has officially healed the swelling has gone down like it's empty and this is very very good news because we are at four and a half weeks of this today but anyway what this great news means for us is that we get to move the boat <laughs> for the first time in about seven seven and a half weeks riding back out to where we don't have cell service so i'm trying to get a bunch of stuff down before we do that and so now we're gonna go to the grocery store we're gonna stock up we have our laundry being washed <laughs> love that we're gonna pick that up and yeah we're getting this bad boy ready to rock i'm excited to get out of here yeah it's a good place to be stuck but i'm excited to get cruising for you know it's just a couple weeks get cruising plus it's getting hot and the water's getting warm and clear yeah, so it's like buddy. even better yeah it's time to go swim and sail and swim and chill and be off the GD computer yeah, you and need phone. A, you need a break. 
<sighs> You've been a working fool. Working fool. Anyway, great news. So keeping our fingers crossed that this little nugget can make it through a little bit of time away from the vet. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're off to go take care of some shit so we can get out of here tomorrow. Bye guys. Thanks for watching guys. On the next Sailing Via, we finally break out of the anchorage and set sail for the wild, where we wander deserted beaches, spearfish for our dinner, watch stellar sunsets, swim most hours of the day, and thoroughly enjoy our last time on anchor for the season. Can you guys please settle something for us? Is budging is the is budging a word? Please use it in a sentence again. Uh, hey kid, no budging. Like you're in line, in a queue, as the Brits say. Yeah, they can't budge. It's cut. You can't cut in line. It's also cut. They're synonyms. I've no one says no budging. I've never heard this. This is brand new information. People, I'm a great many years old, and I never heard this. Spoken like a true budger. No. <laughs> oh. The sounds of nature. Enjoy. Do you like the sounds of nature today? I kind of wish they would just, you know, just, just bring it down. <laughs> no, we're running the loop. Yes! <laughs> uh, fellas? <laughs> Hopefully that wasn't so absurdly long-winded and boring. Duh. Sea turtle.